In this video, I will compare ManyChat versus BotPress and tell you which of these platforms may be best for you and your needs, depending on the platforms you want to use them on, depending on how advanced you want everything to be, what you want to do with them, and I'll just go over everything you need to know and tell you which one I think is best. So first, it's important to go over which platforms you can use them on. So you can see with ManyChat, you can use it for Instagram, WhatsApp, Messenger, Devon AI, and some more integrations with stuff like Google Sheets, Zapier, ActiveCampaign, ConvertKit, HubSpot, MailChimp, Stripe, PayPal, Integromat, and Klaviyo. Now through Zapier, it says over 1500 apps, but actually Zapier has over 7,000 integrations. Now through Zapier, you can integrate it with over 1500 apps. Now comparing this to BotPress, BotPress works with the following tools. So you can see it right here. So as channels, it has the following Instagram, Intercom, Line, Messenger, Telegram, Sunshine Conversations, Slack, Microsoft Teams, Viber, WebChat, and WhatsApp. So if you would like to use it for Viber, for example, or Microsoft Teams, Slack, Intercom, Line, Telegram, Sunshine Conversations, then automatically you want to go with BotPress since those are not included on ManyChat. Now ManyChat you can also actually use with SMS. Now in terms of the other integrations, it also integrates with tools like Asana, Dell E Image Generation, HubSpot, Make.com, which is kind of similar to Zapier, then also N8N, Notion, Stripe, Typeform, Trello, and of course also Zapier. So in terms of integrations, BotPress does offer some more integrations compared to ManyChat. Now in terms of what you can actually do with them, both of them are chatbot builders. Now whereas ManyChat does also have AI, but it's in my opinion mainly just automation. So if someone comments something that includes this word or sends a message that includes this word, then send this message or add this condition, stuff like that. But BotPress is more so actually about AI in my opinion. And it's the complete AI agent platform, as it says right here. Now, in terms of the most advanced tool, that is definitely going to be BotPress. With BotPress, you can even use code and have API access. And it's just a very, very advanced tool. Now, that does come with a downside of it being harder to use and having a larger learning curve. Now, ManyChat, on the other hand, is very straightforward, very good template, very easy to use, but still advanced enough for most people that just want to send messages, send links, have people go through quizzes, and basically just set up automations and conditions and actions and collect data. Now, when we look at their pricing, ManyChat does have a really good free plan where you have up to 1000 contacts. You don't need to add any payment details and you can use it for Instagram DM, Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp. And you can already automate conversations, acquire new customers and segment your contacts. Now in the pro plan, you get access to SMS, text messaging and email. You have unlimited contacts. You can expand your reach, build advanced campaigns, optimize performance, save time, remove many chat branding and you have email support. Then the custom elite plan has some even more advanced features. Now the pro plan starts at $15 per month, but it does scale with the amount of contacts you have. For example, for 5,000, it's $45 per month. Now the price per 1,000 contacts goes all the way down to $4 and two cents. So it's not that expensive. Now comparing this to bot process pricing, you can see their free plan gets you five bots, 2,000 incoming messages or events per month, three collaborators, 5,000 table rows, $5 in AI credit, 100 MB vector database storage, community support, and three saved versions. Now your plan is usually custom, so it depends on how many bots you have. So per bot, it's automatically $1 per month. Well, with ManyChat, you can have unlimited bots and it's all about the amount of contacts that you have. Now, if you want to have always a live functionality so that it's always online, which you probably do want, then that is $5 per bot. Then the incoming messages and events, it depends on how many you have, it's $10 per month per 5,000. Now with many chats pricing, it is again about the contacts and not really about the messages. Then in terms of collaborators, that will also cost you $25 per month for every single collaborator, which is quite expensive. And now for the table rows, it's $25 per month for 100,000 additional table rows and you get 5,000 for free. Then in terms of storage, it's $10 per month for each additional gigabyte of storage. 
So this can easily get into the hundreds of dollars per month and AI spend comes on top of this. So you can see you get $5 in credit, but it will usually cost you even more if you are going to be using quite a lot of GPT-4 or 3.5. So in terms of affordability, ManyChat does have first of all a better free plan, but it's also more affordable. Now in terms of customer reviews, on G2, BotPress has 254 reviews with 4.6 stars out of 5. ManyChat has 146 reviews with 4.6 stars out of 5 as well. So in terms of customer reviews, it is very similar. Now which one should you pick, ManyChat or BotPress? In my opinion, if you are looking for the most advanced tool and you don't mind spending a little bit more, then that is going to be BotPress and also if you don't mind having a pretty long learning curve, but the upside is once it's set up, it's done and if you don't have to change it every single day or month, then you can just keep using it once you have set it up. But it can be a bit of a headache to set up. ManyChat is a lot easier and if you are looking for an easier tool and you're not really tech savvy and you don't want to spend hours on setting it up, you just want to do it quite quickly and for a very affordable price, then ManyChat is the way to go. Now if you want to get started with ManyChat, I'll leave a link to this page in the description where you can get started for free without needing to add any payment details and just connect whatever accounts you want. So that concludes this comparison of ManyChat versus BotPress. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.